Okay guys, here we are. Fresh breeze flying. What do you do when the weather's like this? Raining, windy. Go to the museum. Davistow RAF Cornwall and War Museum. David Stowe, yeah, to get away from fog to escape fog. Okay, here we are down at Davistow, fresh breeze. Dan Burton's flying. We're the first ones here at the moment, and uh, early Friday morning. And uh, yeah, well, the uh, the tea's on. Uh, John's eager to go. He's putting on his little romper suit. Got the Crocs. Crocs, yeah. ready for action. Yeah. We've done a bit of kiting. Looks a bit scary. Wind socks uh, kicking off a little bit, but it's kind of settling down. So we're going to give it a go. Uh, see what happens. Hopefully we don't smash everything up, John A, eh, before everyone else turns up. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. As they. Uh, as everybody turns up, we're like packing up <laughs> with a van load of bin bags. <laughs> <It does smell. laughs> Let's see what happens after this coffee. and uh, it's got a lot better all of a sudden. Touch really lucky these last couple of weekends. Could have gone either way. I'm just looking down here, I can see pylons everywhere, which is uh, always makes me nervous. There's, a, there's a, a, a row there, probably doesn't come out quite that good on the camera. And another big row here. These are the big ones. Sorry, John, can you just repeat that? I think that rock out in front of you. Oh, Roger that, yeah. Yeah, I see it. It looks, uh, we'll have a look at it. It's not coming up on my map. It's tint oh, yeah, it is, yeah, Tintagel, yeah, yeah, it is. I see these big power lines now, John. Can you see them? Yeah, I can see them. I'm not flying anywhere at the minute. I'm going sideways.
glory. But uh, David Star, I don't know what that's called, that place. But uh, wow, what a flight. Went out to Tintagel. The wind's picking up quite a bit now. Um, and to straight into the wind, we kind of almost parked. So we don't really want to go too far uh, behind the line of the. Uh, right, the you're right. just dropped down 100 odd feet and it's freezing down here. <laughs> yeah. I bet it is. It's quite warm up here, believe it or not. It's down on the ground, it's a bit cold. No wonder they get a sea mist every now and again, like, because of the extremes, it's incredible. Lovely. Nice shot of John there, going over the quarry. Enjoying himself. As the, uh, the wind's coming from the left-hand side, I don't want to go down that little gully there and be on the lee side of this hill, even though it's a very smooth, rounded hill. Who knows? The air will be flowing up and over it, down it. So I'll just keep on the keep my line on this side of it, on the left-hand side. Actually got a ground speed of 50 mile an hour. So that would tell me that up here we're looking at about a 20 mile an hour wind. Possibly a tad more. Also, this is forecast to be one of the hottest days of the year, so uh, it, it's already getting warm and it's only ten past nine. So, uh, you know, things are going to start warming up. You like that tarmac rug, and it, well, I say tarmac, that concrete runway, that's going to start kicking up soon. Don't really want to be landing through uh, strong thermals, really. touched 55 miles an hour, that's the fastest I've ever gone. I don't think we have to worry about microlights, do we? I don't think so, there's nothing, there's nothing coming, I can't see any traffic. I'm going to go look that back taxiway, right? And then I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pull my troops in a little bit. And I'm coming straight in, I'm going to land on the first go. Fair enough, yeah, well done. 